Hello beautiful people, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually do the laser spray, like the legend, Termite Gamer. Are you comedy me? <laughs> if you think I'm joking, then watch this. What will you call this legendary spray right here? Let me know in the comments below. So, spraying like a laser has some requirements. Like first you need to go to the Amazon and buy a laser light. What? Just kidding. You don't need anything to spray like a laser, just an iPhone 14 Pro Max is enough. What the f and if you don't have an iPhone, then steal it from the Apple Store. FBI, open up! Jokes aside, to spray like a laser, you need to be good in controlling the recoil first. And if you can't even control Uzi's recoil, then go eat potato. To be honest, laser spray requires a good aiming accuracy and, of course, a masterpiece sensitivity. If you want the actual zero recoil sensitivity, then you can follow me on Instagram. I will post the sensitivity codes there anytime soon. Anyways, so here I'm going to show you some of my personal secrets to have the real laser spray. But before we start, drop some likes on this video. Because I need 900 likes on this video, otherwise I will steal your pocket money. Anyways, let's start. Tip 1, don't spray too early. Guns have a certain hit radius. This hit radius increases when you're spraying bullets onto your enemies. However, it also decreases the chance of you hitting the opponent successfully, and it increases the gun's recoil. You should always stick to firing a few bullets first, so that the recoil is less and your aim isn't affected too much. Gun sprays are viable when you're in the middle of an intense firefight, and there are plenty of enemies in a particular area. For a smaller amount of enemies, especially at a distance, fire just 3 or 4 shots first. Any more than this and your gun will start to spray wildly. Tip 2, Hand Usage. This might seem like a no-brainer, but plenty of players tend to forget this. How you use the game's controls also have a stake in terms of gun recoil control. For example, players who shoot with their thumb or play with three fingers for the controls tend to have better aim and recoil control. If you use a claw-like grip or control scheme, it becomes difficult to control the recoil. Of course, you can practice and improve your aim using both techniques. However, as a beginner, it's better to use three fingers or thumb style control grip. Tip 3, changing stances. A good rule of thumb to remember is that your aim will always be worse when you're standing. Changing the stance to crouch or prone will make your gun and recoil control loads better. Moreover, try not to aim and fire too much when you're moving. This decreases your chances of hitting your target exponentially. When you're prone or crouched, your movement is slower, but your aiming will be far better. Of course, it goes without saying that you will have to find the appropriate cover. There's no point in trying to aim while crouched or prone when you've got no cover to shield you from incoming fire. Tip 4, Aiming Sensitivity. Aiming sensitivity is a big issue when you're playing the game. You can check the sensitivity settings that your friend uses and utilize the same settings. It's different for each person. Moreover, since you and your friend might use different guns, you can't apply the same settings at any time. However, you can check your aiming sensitivity settings in the training ground. Choose your preferred gun, hopefully something mid-level that's found more commonly in-game, and try them out. You can change the settings according to your needs after that. Moreover, there are other settings for ADS sensitivity, camera sensitivity, and gyroscope sensitivity, if you're using it. Experiment and find what works for you. Tip 5, Gun Choice. Needless to say, this will be a big factor when it comes to your aiming skills. Not everyone can manage with guns that provide huge kickbacks. If you're a beginner, you're better off using mid-range guns or a few submachine guns. Their recoil tends to be comparatively less, and you can compensate for the lack of damage through better gun control. Even seasoned and enthusiast players try to avoid guns that have a huge recoil, as it can be an impediment to the competitive edge of the game. Try out different guns, whether in-game or in matches. With some time and effort, you will know which gun works best for your playing style. Use these extraordinary tips in order to have the actual laser spray. Alright guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for the tips, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and most importantly, subscribe the channel if you are new here. And now, enjoy my potato gameplay, peace. Yeah.
Watch out! Watch out! Marked a location. Help! Watch out! Watch out! Retreat to the safe zone! Excellent work. Watch out! Get in the car!
Watch out! Mark the location. This way to the play zone. Victory belongs to us. 